Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar where we'll be talking about what is category management in procurement and how to get started. Today is a deep dive webinar so that means that we will dive into the topic and you'll be able to learn all about what is category management and how to get started. So we will start this webinar in approximately three and a half, four minutes. Uh, let's just give some time for everyone who is trying to join this session to still wrap up any things. Uh, in the meantime, if you need to grab a cup of water or coffee, you still have some time to do it. Um, and while we wait for everyone to join, I would like to bring your attention to our category management course, which is, of course, directly related with the topic we are discussing today. So if you want to get even further upskilled in category management, I strongly advise you to follow our course. Uh, in this course, you learn how to master strategic procurement, learn how to analyze markets, define categories and apply category management strategies. You'll also learn how to enhance your supply relationships and you'll also learn how to optimize spend and inventory. So if you want to find out more about this course and the contents of the course, check our website at procurementtactics.com, go to the course library and check the category management uh, course and you'll be able to download the course syllabus that includes all the course information. Um, and let's get back to our webinar. So I see that we have more people joining this session. Welcome everybody. I'm really excited to have you all here today. Uh, today we will deep dive into what is category management in procurement and how to get started. Um, if you have any questions throughout the, web throughout the webinar, feel free uh, to share them in the comment section. Um, and also please let us know which country are you watching us from today. As I mentioned in our previous webinars, uh, we are always very excited to, to be building a worldwide procurement community and that we see people from all over the world joining our webinars. So that gives us um, a really happy feeling and we are really uh, happy to have you all here um, for, for uh, these webinars. Um, I see that we have more people joining. We will start this webinar in approximately two minutes. Um, as I said a few times, today we'll be deep diving into what is category management in procurement and how to get started. Um, if you want to learn more about category management and to upskill yourself in this area, I strongly advise you to check our website at procurementtactics.com. We have a wide variety of courses across different procurement subjects uh, like ChatGPT, negotiations and so on. Uh, but for today's, you can check the course number 10, Category Management, uh, and you can see all the information about the course, what you can expect to learn, and you can also download the course syllabi for further information. If you want, you can also schedule a call with our team and we will guide you through everything that is in our courses, plus the learning platform as well. And get, get back to the webinar, where I see that we have more people joining. Welcome everyone! Uh, please let us know here on the comment section which country are you watching us from today. We'll start in approximately one minute. So if you still need to grab a cup of water or a coffee, you still have some time to do that. But in the meantime, also um, let, let's, let's focus on the subject of today, which is category management in procurement and how to get started. So if you have any questions throughout the webinar, you feel free uh, to put them in the comment section and our team will be answering all of them right away. Um, so 30 seconds until we start um, I see that we have more people joining I'm very very excited to have you all here today we will be deep diving into what is category management in procurement and how to get started uh, so I hope you are as excited as I am to be here today uh, talking to you guys about this topic um, and yeah get ready because we'll start in 14 seconds Hello everyone and welcome to our deep dive webinar on category management in procurement and how to get started. My name is Philippe and today I'm excited to explore the topic of category management and how to get started with your own category strategy within your organization. So let's begin. Now let's go over our agenda for this deep dive. We'll begin by discussing all things category management, like its role in procurement, the six key components, the role of a category manager, the differences between direct and indirect spend, comparisons between traditional procurement and category management, how to develop your own category strategy, the best practices to follow, common challenges and how to overcome them, 
and much more. Now, let's get started. So, what exactly is category management? Put it simply, businesses use this approach to break down their overall spending into similar types of products. But if we zoom out, it's a complex strategy category managers use to zero in on suppliers, products and markets. With this strategy, category managers can gain impactful insights in a detailed but straightforward way. In category management, we bundle items at their basic level. So, in grouping items within each category, procurement teams save money by focusing their purchases within specific criteria. Why is it an ideal approach? Easy, it helps companies buy at lower prices, which gives them a competitive appeal in the market. Category management segments goods and services into groups based on their function and type. Let's zoom in on the purpose category management serves. What role does category management play in procurement and how does it help procurement managers and teams? In procurement functions, category management is a key component. It is all about organizing and subdividing procurement resources and activities around certain areas. The importance of category management in procurement is its ability to help category managers focus on understanding products, suppliers and market conditions. By segmenting procurement into specific categories, managers can develop deeper expertise in each area, leading to more informed decision making and strategic sourcing. Procurement teams that deploy category management strategies have an advantage in understanding the products they need, the suppliers to provide them, and the market conditions that influence pricing and availability. With this knowledge, they are able to anticipate changes, identify opportunities for cost savings, and negotiate better terms with suppliers. It also helps managing risks associated with supply chain disruptions, ensuring a more resilient procurement strategy. Second, it is a driver for strategic alignment and planning. As a strategy, category management allows for the growth of strategic plans that align with category management goals. It involves grouping items so the procurement team can economize by making purchases within set boundaries. The primary aim here is to secure goods at lower prices, giving businesses a better advantage in the market and organizing products and services based on their function and type. With this structure, procurement teams can plan more effectively, set clear priorities and allocate resources efficiently. Third, it helps achieve economies of scale and cost efficiency. One of the benefits of category management is the ability to achieve economies of scale. Procurement teams can negotiate bulk discounts and reduce unit costs by consolidating purchases within specific categories, which lowers the overall procurement spend and also simplifies the purchasing process. Category strategies are ideal for making operations more cost-efficient, less complex and also help organizations stay compliant with procurement policies. Fourth, it enhances supplier relationships because category management strategies bring benefits to stakeholders and suppliers Procurement teams can also enjoy stronger partnerships with vendors. By focusing on strategic categories, teams can develop long-term partnerships with key suppliers. Effectively, this collaboration leads to improved supplier performance, innovation and mutual benefits. Suppliers are more likely to invest in their relationship with a buyer who demonstrates a clear understanding of their market and values their contributions. Fifth, category management boosts data-driven decision-making. In today's data-rich environment, category management leverages advanced analytics to drive decision-making. By analyzing spend data, market trends and supplier performance, procurement teams can identify patterns, forecast demand and make informed purchasing decisions. This data-driven approach enhances transparency, accountability and continuous improvement within the procurement function. What does a category manager do? We know that category managers are tasked with overseeing and managing a specific category of products or services within a company. But let's explore more about what they do. Category managers have very dynamic workflows, with data crunching, supplier communications, collaboration with other departments and assortment planning, category managers make use of multiple skills within their scope. All category managers are analytical, strategic thinkers great with communication skills and the ability to be flexible across many procurement activities. Starting with market analysis, this is a very important part in a category manager's workflow. Researching the market is not just about spotting trends and possible risks. 
A category manager's findings in market research will help them view the market from a consumer's perspective and a stakeholder's perspective. This will tell them who their competitors are, what is more profitable than others, and so on. Overall, market analysis is great for eyeing market opportunities with assigned categories. In most procurement professionals, list of responsibilities is managing suppliers. For category managers, it is essential to manage suppliers' relationships to help the company acquire goods and services of the best standards. Sorting the needed product into categories allows for smarter purchasing. Organizations who want to get cost-effective and high-quality products cannot do it without category managers. The right pricing strategy is crucial. Too low, you miss out on profit. Too high, you lose appeal and miss out on sales. You need patience, but you also need to be alert. Category managers are responsible for developing pricing strategies that align with the state of the market as well as the company's objectives. Did you know that category managers also implement certain marketing strategies? This boosts the category's visibility and also leads to more sales, meaning more profits and high performance for the company. How does a category manager work with other procurement professionals and departments within a company? Collaboration is key here. Category managers communicate with marketing teams, sales and operations departments to make sure the strategies are carried out thoroughly and effectively. Now that you understand the role of category management, let's take a closer look and break it down into five key components. Define the categories. In this step, you'll be identifying and defining the different categories of goods and services that your organization procures. Categories might include materials, machinery and maintenance services. For a food manufacturer, materials would mean ingredients like flour and oil. Machinery would refer to the cutting tables and benchtop extruders. Maintenance services would refer to the cleaning materials and inspection services. Now, once you have defined the categories, they are further subdivided based on criteria such as volume, supplier base and market dynamics. Volume refers to the quantity or amount of goods or services being purchased within a specific category. The supplier base refers to the number and type of suppliers available for a specific category. Subdividing based on the supplier base lets you know why you rely on certain suppliers, how the suppliers perform and how strategies impact supplier management. Meanwhile, market dynamic refers to the external factors affecting the market for a specific category, such as supply and demand trends, competition, price fluctuations and regulatory changes. Next. Analyze the market. This involves looking at the current market conditions, potential supplier capabilities and industry trends for each category. So why it is important to research market conditions? Market conditions help companies understand the current environment surrounding their operations. The expertise, experience and skills of suppliers within a category are also important. Supplier capabilities refer to many things, like what is the state of the supplier's production capacity, is their production process efficient enough to handle my needs as a category manager? Meanwhile, industry trends are patterns and developments within the industry that impact a specific category and understanding these trends help companies stay competitive and adapt to their sourcing strategies. Third, develop the strategy. Based on the analysis, a tailored strategy is developed for each category. This strategy outlines a sourcing approach, supply relationship management and risk mitigation plans. Because market conditions that change all the time, having a category strategy in place better equips companies to face economic changes, supply chain challenges and geopolitical disruptions. In turn, the company becomes more agile and resilient in the face of these challenges. Next, translate the strategy into action. Putting the strategy into action through strategic sourcing initiatives, supplier negotiations and contract management turns the strategy that you just created into something actionable that brings measurable results. This is crucial because translating your strategy into action ensures that the benefits of category management are realized. As a result, category managers drive the best value for the company. Conduct category review. The final key component in category management is regularly tracking and measuring the performance of each category against predefined KPIs. Why is this important? It helps managers find areas for improvement while ensuring their teams bring consistent results. 
Overall, category management is compromised of multiple smaller phases. Think of them as puzzle pieces that make up category management as a strategy. There are two main types of expenditures in category management, direct and indirect. Let's explore the key differences between them. Direct expenditures cover all the materials and services needed to produce the company's product. These items are the individual components that make up the final product and are usually bought in bulk from reliable suppliers. For example, in the food industry, a restaurant would procure goods such as olive oil, dried paste and produce to use in preparing the dishes that they serve. Having a steady supply of these goods is critical as they are ingredients included in the final product. Indirect expenditures are for goods and services that will not part of the final product and are still essential for the everyday running of the company and supporting its operations. What's considered a direct or indirect cost can vary depending on the industry. For example, in banking and insurance, IT resources are considered a direct costs because they are essential for major operations and customer interactions. However, in the food and beverage industry, those same IT resources might be classified as indirect costs. Now, let's walk through the initial steps for organizations new to category management in procurement. By the end of this guide, you will have a solid foundation to effectively use this strategy across all your procurement functions. First up, we need to build a compelling business case for category management. This means you need to dem demonstrate its benefits like better saving opportunities, stronger relationships with suppliers and more efficient operations. Think of it as showing everyone why this approach is worth their time and effort. Category managers should research examples from similar organizations or industries where category management has made a big difference and, if possible, use data and analytics to show how these benefits can lead to measurable outcomes for your organization. Paint a clear picture with solid proof. Numbers and success stories go a long way in convincing people. Next, securing stakeholder buy-in is crucial. Present your business case to the key decision makers and highlight the strategic importance of category management. You want the executives to see how this approach aligns perfectly with the organization's overall goals and objectives. Engage stakeholders from various departments early on. This isn't just about getting their approval, it's about making them part of the journey. When stakeholders understand how category management benefits their specific areas, you gain stronger support and develop better communication across the board. This collective backing is essential for the smooth implementation and long-term success of category management. Once you've got the support, the next step is setting up a dedicated category management team. This team should consist of skilled professionals with expertise in procurement, supply chain and data analysis. Make sure that roles and responsibilities are clearly communicated so that everyone knows their part in the process. You can also invest in training and develop to equip your team with the necessary skills and knowledge. Learning experiences like workshops and seminars can help you set up your team. Think of your team as the engine driving your category management strategy. They need to be prepared with the skills they are finely tuned, ready to tackle challenges and seize opportunities. Providing them with the right tools and training ensures they can perform at their best. Now your team is ready, next it's time to define your categories and subcategories. Start by analyzing your organization's spend data to identify major spend areas. Group similar products or services together to form categories and then break this down further into subcategories for more detailed management. This step is critical for organizing your procurement activities. Think of it as putting everything into neat, manageable boxes. Each category can then be managed more effectively with strategies tailored to its unique needs. Develop category-specific strategies that address market conditions, supplier landscape and organizational needs. Regularly review and adjust your categories and subcategories to keep up with changes in the market and your business environment. This flexibility ensures your category management practices remain relevant and effective. Lastly, let's talk about tools and technologies to support your category management efforts. Implement procurement software that offers features like spend analysis, supplier management and contract management. Stay updated with the latest technological advancements to continuously improve your category management practices. Explore advanced analytics, artificial intelligence and machine learning applications to enhance your strategies. 
leverage automation tools to reduce panel tests and increase efficiency across the procurement lifecycle. Think of technology as your team's best friend. The right tools can make their job easier, more accurate and more efficient. It's about working smarter and staying ahead of the curve. To begin with, let's look at the key elements of a successful category strategy. A robust category strategy starts with a thorough understanding of the category spend patterns, supplier base and market dynamics. You need to dive deep into how money is spent, who the key suppliers are and what's happening in the market. This understanding forms the bedrock of your strategy. Next, it should incorporate clear objectives and performance metrics to measure success. What are you trying to achieve? How will you know when you have succeeded? These goals and metrics keep you focused and provide a way to track your progress. It's about pulling in all the relevant data, analyzing it from different angles and getting input from everyone involved. It ensures that all perspectives are considered, making your strategy well-rounded and robust. Next, let's discuss techniques for conducting spend analysis. Spend analysis involves examining your organization's expenditures to identify trends, opportunities for cost savings and areas for improvement. Start by collecting and categorizing spend data from various sources. This can be a bit of a treasure hunt, but it's worth it. Use data visualization tools to highlight key patterns and insights. Graph charts and other visuals can make complex data easier to understand and glance. Regular spend analysis helps you make informed decisions and optimize your procurement activities. It's like having a map that shows you where you can save money and where you need to tighten up. Another crucial aspect is leveraging market intelligence and supplier insights. Stay updated with market trends, price fluctuations and emerging technologies by subscribing to industry reports and engaging with market experts. This information is gold. It helps you stay ahead of the curve and prepare for changes. Develop strong relationships with suppliers to gain valuable insights with their capabilities, performance and future plans. This isn't just about getting good deals, it's about building partnerships. These relationships can give you a heads up on what's coming and help you negotiate better terms. It also allows you to identify potential risks. Risk management is a vital component of any category strategy. Identify and assess potential risks such as supply chain disruptions, market volatility and supplier insolvencies. These risks are like hidden traps that can derail your plans if you're not prepared. Develop contingency plans and diversify your supplier base to mitigate these risks. Think of it as having a safety net. Then update your risk management strategies to ensure that they remain effective. By proactively managing risks, you can safeguard your supply chain and maintain continuity. Lastly, ensure that your category strategies are aligned with your organization's overall goals. Collaborate with key stakeholders to understand the broader business objectives and how procurement can support them. This alignment ensures that your procurement activities are not just a side operation, but a vital part of the company's success. Aligning your strategies with organizational goals fosters better communication and cooperation across departments. It's like getting everyone to row in the same direction. This leads to more cohesive and effective strategies, driving the company forward as a unified team. By focusing on these key elements, you can develop effective category strategies that drive value for your organization. Remember, successful strategies are data-driven, risk-aware and aligned with your overall business goals. Keep these principles in mind and you'll be well on your way to procurement excellence. To start, let's discuss the best practices for implementing category plans. Begin by clearly defining the objectives and expected outcomes of your category plans. Ensure that all team members understand their roles and responsibilities. This entails developing a detailed implementation roadmap outlining key milestones and timelines. Next, let's focus on change management and communication strategies. Implementing category plans often involves significant changes in processes and workflows. To manage this transition smoothly, develop a comprehensive change management plan. Communicate the benefits and reasons for the changes to all affected parties. Collaboration is key to successful implementation. Work closely with suppliers to ensure they understand and align with your category plans. Similarly, collaborate with internal stakeholders across various departments and involve them in the planning process, seek their input and keep them informed about progress and changes. 
Monitoring and adjusting your category plans based on performance data is essential for continuous improvement. Establish key performance indicators KPIs, to measure the success of your category plans. Regularly collect and analyze performance data to identify trends, successes and areas for improvement. Let's now dive into the essentials of measuring and improving category performance. We will look at the key performance indicators KPIs, tools and techniques for tracking performance and methods for continuous improvement. Let's start with key performance indicators KPIs for category management. KPIs are essential for assessing the effectiveness of your category strategies. Think of them as the vital signs of your procurement health. Here are some common KPIs you should focus on. Cost savings. These KPIs measure the reduction in spending due to the better sourcing and negotiation. It's about understanding how much money you have saved through smarter procurement decisions. Then we have supplier performance. Evaluate suppliers based on criteria like quality, delivery and service levels. You want to know which suppliers are eating the mark and which ones might be falling short. Compliance rates. Track adherence to contracts and procurement policies. This helps ensure that everyone is following the rules and guidelines set for procurement activities. Cycle times. Monitor the time taken to complete procurement processes from order to delivery. Shorter cycle times usually indicate a more efficient procurement process. These KPIs provide a clear picture of how well your category management strategies are working. They help you see where you are excelling and where there might be room for improvement. Now let's talk about tools and techniques for tracking performance. Utilizing the right tools can make all the difference. Procurement software. Use procurement software to automate data collection and reporting. This ensures that you have accurate, up-to-date information at your fingertips. Spend analysis platforms. These platforms help you analyze where your money is going, identifying trends and opportunities for cost savings. Supplier scorecards. Track supplier performance with scorecards that evaluate key metrics like delivery times, quality of goods and service levels. Performance dashboards. Dashboards provide real-time insights into your procurement activities, allowing you to quickly identify and address any issues. Benchmarking. Compare your performance against industry standards to see how you stack up. This can help identify areas for improvement and set realistic goals. And lastly, regular performance reviews. Hold regular reviews to assess your performance data and make adjustments as needed. This keeps your strategies aligned with your goals and responsive to any changes. Leveraging these tools ensure you have accurate and timely data to make informed decisions. It's like having a compass that keeps you on the right path. Continuous improvement is crucial for sustaining and enhancing performance. It's about always striving to do better. Here are some methods to help you along the way. Six Sigma. This method focuses on reducing defects and improving quality through a structured, data-driven approach. Lean. Lean aims to eliminate waste and improve efficiency. It's about doing more with less and maximizing value for your organization. Then we have Kaizen. Kaizen is all about continuous incremental improvements. It encourages everyone to look for small ways to improve processes and systems. Encourage a culture of continuous improvement by fostering open communication and collaboration within your team. Make it clear that everyone's input is valued and that you are all working together towards common goals. By focusing on these key areas, you can develop a robust category management strategies that drive value and efficiency. Remember, successful strategies are built on solid data, effective tools and a commitment to continuous improvement. Keep these principles in mind and you'll be well equipped to measure and enhance your category performance. While category management comes with a share of benefits, as a procurement professional you need to be aware of the challenges you may face in putting a category strategy into action. Employees and stakeholders may show resistance to change. This can stem from the doubt about the processes and systems. When so many professionals have been using similar types of processes throughout their careers, it may be difficult to convince them to try category management strategies. But there is a solution to this roadblock, and that is to come up with a detailed plan for managing a major change within your company. Communicate with stakeholders early and often to gain their buy-in and answer any questions they may have. Regular updates and open forums for discussion can help ease their concerns and build trust in the new approach. Not having enough data can land you in trouble. 
especially if you don't utilize research and analytics to support your work. Decision making falls short without data to support it. To prevent uninformed decisions in category management, invest in data and analytic tools that provide accurate and timely insights. As you continue to use data and analytics, make sure you regularly review and update your data sources so they remain up to date. Consider conducting regular training sessions to ensure your team is proficient in using these tools. This can help them feel more comfortable and confident in making data-driven decisions. A tip, partnering with data analysts or consultants can provide deeper insights and help you leverage your data more effectively. Budget constraints can be a challenge for many companies. For example, small companies with limited personnel can find it difficult for a category strategy to be effective. This can be due to the limited resources available to the company. So, while a category management strategy can help them, translating those goals into an actionable strategy can be challenging. However, you can overcome this obstacle by first prioritizing your category management initiatives based on their potential impact. Then, harness technology like AI and machine learning to automate processes and this will lessen the need for manual effort. Additionally, explore options for phased implementation. Start with high-impact, low-cost initiatives that can deliver quick wins. These early successes can help build the momentum and justify further investment in your category management strategy. For large-scale companies, category strategies prove difficult when you have a diverse supplier base. This is due to its complexity with suppliers being less centralized and more scattered. Managing categories for a company with a diverse supplier base requires monitoring, communication and proactiveness. To overcome this challenge, create a structured supplier management program. This includes regular performance evaluations and relationship building activities. You can also use supplier segmentation to tailor your approach based on the strategic importance and risk associated with each supplier. Implementing a robust supplier relationship management SRM system can help streamline these processes. This system can provide a centralized platform for tracking supplier performance, managing contracts and facilitating communication. What happens if your category strategies are not aligned with broader business objectives? Ensure that your category management strategies are aligned with the overall business objectives by involving key stakeholders in the planning process. Hold regular strategic alignment meetings to ensure everyone is on the same page. These sessions can help identify any misalignments early and allow for timely adjustments. By focusing on these challenges and actively seeking solutions, you can effectively implement category management strategies that drive value and efficiency for your organization. Remember, open communication, data-driven decision-making and continuous alignment with business objectives are key to overcoming these obstacles and achieving success. Before we wrap up, here are three things we'd like you to remember. First is that category management helps your procurement teams save money by bundling similar products, allowing for more strategic sourcing and costs efficiently. Second, building and maintaining strong supply relationship leads to better performance, innovation and long-term mutual benefits for both parties. And third, using data-driven insights ensure that procurement decisions are more informed, helping to optimize costs, manage risks and drive better procurement outcomes overall. And now I'd like you to make note of the three things we can do differently moving forward with category management. First, focus matters when it comes to stronger collaboration between procurement and other departments as it ensures category strategies are aligned with business objectives and organizational goals. Second, conduct more frequent market analysis to stay ahead of market trends, price, fluctuations and supplier capabilities, ensuring you can adapt your strategies as needed. Lastly, invest in advanced procurement technologies to automate routine tests, enhance data analysis and improve the efficiency of tracking supplier performance and compliance. Do you want to broaden your knowledge on category management? Check out our Category Management in Procurement course. It's an easy way to learn how to elevate your category management expertise. You can go to our website at procurementtactics.com Go to our course library and you'll find the category management course. So when you're on the, the course page, you can download also the free syllabus where you can have the full outline of the course and its learning contents. In this course, you'll learn all about mastering the strategic procurement, enhance supplier relationships and optimize spend and inventory. So if you want to dive more into our category management in procurement course, 
again visit our website and you can also reach out to me at philippe at procurementtactics.com if you want to keep learning email me at philippe at procurementtactics.com and i will send you the file to our category management strategy template this template will help you define your categories into smaller, manageable segments to enhance your strategic planning. Apart from our category management course, we have a variety of online courses across 16 different procurement subjects, perfect for building high-performing procurement teams. We give engaging workshops on all things procurement, including topics like ChatGPT in procurement, category management, negotiations, and much more. Procurement Tactics Bootcamps combine online learning with teamwork and hands-on activities to prepare procurement teams for the future. Additionally, we offer various learning resources, just as templates, articles, and the Procurement Career Map. Now, do you have any questions? This last portion of the webinar is your chance to explore today's topic. Post your questions in the comment section and our team will answer them right away. If you enjoyed today's webinar, join us in next week's session for more procurement insights. Thank you all and see you in the next one. Have a nice day.